Hi everyone and welcome to part two of week three of Vlogmas. Wednesday guys um, coming to you from the parking garage at work I have been lucky enough to get to work from home all of December but I needed to come pick up something here at the office and I decided to use the gym at the office instead of doing just um, a spin bike peloton today I'm still breathing hard because <laughs> it's a little bit of a walk from the gym to the parking garage and whew, I am glowy but yeah, I did start a new little gift knit last night that I'll have to show you when I get home. That is so cute. But yeah, just trying to wrap up my work week. Um, tonight my sisters are coming over and I've asked them if they'll film something with me. So I need to figure out what we're going to film. But hopefully I can show you a little bit of that later on today. So I'll check in in a little while. sweater that my sister Lynn made me. She made it for herself, but she gave it to me. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Don't do it. All right. The um, sweater knitter herself, Lynn, modeling her latest. What pattern did you use? Do you know? Um, it's just a basic raglan. I didn't use a pattern. Okay. Yeah. Please, a pattern. <laughs> okay, what is what do we have here? So this is actually um, brick. It's a free pattern you can find on Mary.com. <laughs> <laughs> that is what the pattern is called. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> this one is based on two different sweaters that I found. Let me up close on the little. One was an Icelandic uh, Cute. You know, sweater. And Bjork has the sweater. One, I, yeah. But I can't remember the name of either pattern. Okay. Really here, you want to show them mine? Three years ago. And then this, this is a, um, it's not focusing. Oh, it's focusing on your Christmas tree. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. And this is actually a free pattern from Lion Brand um, that they publish. Um, it's a fisherman sweater that they um, publish specifically for oh, this like fisherman wool. Um, <laughs> Chris <it's> Evans. But <laughs> hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Merry Christmas! Hi everyone and welcome to our Christmas Sisters Night. I have convinced them all to play a game with me and I'm going to make everyone introduce themselves. So we're actually sitting in age order, which I oh. noticed you two sitting together and that's why I forced you into that spot. <laughs> um, so Liz, Lynn, Sarah, Allison, woohoo! Um, I've given everyone cards with everyone's names on it because I, if you were with me watching with me if you were watching my videos three years ago we did this with hilarious results and i'll post a link to that video <laughs> was it really three years ago yeah oh wow i'm pretty sure it was christmas 2020 i think it was two years ago i was pregnant with ben i was very pregnant with ben so two that's years right ago. two years ago two, two and a half three that years. was in like the summer 
It was in the summer. I thought it was a Christmas time thing. No. No. Oh, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> forget me. I'll still link the video. Mm -hmm. um, this matters so much. <laughs> okay. I'm going to start with some easy questions that we're all just going to answer that aren't name related. It's okay. just like your okay. own personal answer. And then that way you can get to know us. <laughs> Which they've been dying to do. I know. Right now. Um, people have been clamoring. <laughs> okay, we're going to start with the easiest, which is who is your favorite Disney princess? Uh, you have to go first. Yeah. Uh, Jasmine. Cinderella. Ariel. Belle. <laughs> You'll note that we can't have the same one. No, no. no. <laughs> Sorry. But Jasmine's the best. So. And did we have them on coordinating windbreaker uh yes, tracks in the ways. early 90s yes we have 100 percent um early bird or night owl night owl night owl night owl, night owl. yeah yes. <laughs> no variation I, thought, I was i hope yeah. you have asked that because like i think everyone's gonna say night owl yeah yes. for sure <laughs> that's our text thread is hopping from like 11 p.m to 1 a.m <laughs> yeah that's where we yes. do our best movie. well i don't know what time of day that is for you uh that is like 9 a.m Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's great. Lynn lives in Dubai, so she's on some weird time sometimes for our group text. Yeah. I wake up to 180 text messages regularly. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Um, what do you watch most often on YouTube? I'm just very curious. I added this for myself. So I watch the most cross stitch, quilting, knitting. Um, I don't even know if I watch anything else at this point, but that's what I watch the most of. What do you watch um, the most the on YouTube? The only things I watch on YouTube are your videos and kids' toothbrush timers. <laughs> kids' toothbrush timers? Every night at bedtime, Isla needs to watch a video of a kid's toothbrush timer to agree to brush her teeth because she is a monster. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm going to have to see Oh, that. yeah. There's Bluey ones. There's Encanto ones. Okay. I've seen them all. Oh toothbrush God. YouTube. Yeah. Is that also called Floss Tube? Hey! <laughs> your videos and then really the only other thing I watch is art restoration videos mm -hmm. um Baumgartner restoration what up can I intern for you um, <laughs> art restoration videos. like it's deeply satisfying That's deeply amazing. informative like they're great I love them mm -hmm. like it's great for active watching and it's also great to like have on in the background or like when you're going to bed because it's like very like it's not there's not a lot of highs and lows okay. in there. I don't I don't on YouTube, but I watch a lot of rug cleaning videos. Oh, a lot, lot of, of rug cleaning. Yeah. Even if I get on real. Facebook, I feel like that's always yes. in my recommended. Yeah, or like power washing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best. Awesome. What are you watching on YouTube? A lot of you. Um, yeah, it's totally the same. But it's true. <laughs> it, it is true. That I watch, watch a lot of I listen to Can't Stitch. Um, I, I have a two year old, so I watch a lot of uh, Sesame Street compilations. Um, he's a big fan of Cookie Monster and Gonger. No, no, um, no. No, uh, Cookie Monster is king okay. in my house. Don't do him. Um, I mean, he still sleeps with Elmo, but you know, like his big Elmo in his bed. But <laughs> yeah. baby, I know he's, he's not playing. Um, what do I watch? I don't know. I watch a lot of like random little clips of stuff, but I don't watch YouTube that much. Okay. Like I watch like yeah. SNL clips the next day, or you know, random stuff okay. like that. Okay. So there's no theme. This is a weird one. What is your favorite memory from 2020? Like pandemic 2020. Do you think we have like a favorite? I have one. Okay. I do. Mine is um, mom's front yard birthday party. Her 60th oh, birthday party. You. It's when everybody was doing the drive by. It was early April yeah. 2020, and we did, you know, we were like too afraid to be near each other, so we just stood in the front yard. That no, one made me sad. Yeah. Well, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> so um, I was pregnant with Isla in 2020. Um, that was a rough year. Yeah. But the. Um, some of the restrictions eased up just enough that people were allowed to drive from one place to another without a permit in Dubai oh, wow. um, a month before she was born. And so some of our friends were able to come over and they did a maternity shoot for me in the backyard of our house. I put on my wedding sari oh. and they took some nice maternity photos of me in the backyard That's because awesome. I wasn't able to do the yeah. real maternity shoot that I had planned. Aww. Now here's the real question. Did the skirt have to sit below your belly or was well, able was to cover a, it? <laughs> yeah, so it was a sari. So I wore the um, the petticoat under the belly. Oh, okay. And then the sari can drape any way you like. Oh, so okay. I had it. It went over the belly. That's it was cute. cute. It's on my Instagram. Oh, okay. I'll send you guys some. I'll link it down below. <laughs> <laughs> what else happened in 2020? Sarah? 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 Um, well, mine was pre-pandemic, but I 
trained for a very long time and I ran the Austin Marathon in February yeah. 2020. And I specifically remember running, I was behind a couple for a few miles and they were they were wearing Run for Wuhan shirts. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh man, yeah, it's so sad what's happening over there. That's gotta be so, and like two weeks later we yeah. were in lockdown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. To us. <laughs> yeah, like it was one of those things where like- I don't even know yeah. if I would have known the word Wuhan in February. No, <laughs> I definitely like, Yeah, know. like there was like yeah. news coming out, but like no one anticipated yeah. what oh was gonna God. happen. And so that was, that was like my pre-pandemic one. During the pandemic, I bought my tiny little house that I loved. Love. So that was great too. So that was like June 2020. Okay. So I'm glad I did that. <laughs> yeah, 2020. Awesome. I bought my house, which I followed Elizabeth to her street that she had moved to a year previously. She, she lives eight houses, nine houses are in between us. Eleven. Oh, eleven. Sorry, oh, that way. way. Oh, yeah, I, I that that much. It's the same block. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Liz and I used to live in the same neighborhood, and then she moved, and then a year later, I said, "Jokes on you! I'm moving to your street now." <laughs> um, and then. Um, I was going to have a party at my house for my birthday that year because we had just moved, but obviously COVID actually never let up. Um, so we ended up doing, like, I got a big suite at this really nice, like, historic hotel here in Austin called the Driscoll. Mm -hmm. And my sisters came and we did, like, a little party in the room and we went to their bar, which is, like, if you have ever been to the Driscoll Bar, if you're a local here, it's, like, super nice and cool. It's got, like, cow eyes old everywhere. Cowboy like, old cowboy Old cowboy, yeah. old Texas, like, class, like, it's just so cool and they have their big Christmas tree up because my birthday's in like late November yeah. after Thanksgiving and so and it was all decorated for Christmas and it was just a fun time. That, that, was, was, so that fun. was super fun. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Okay, so now I have a series of questions where you're gonna need your car. And we're all gonna pick a sister who we feel like fits the category best. Okay. And reveal our answers. Last time we did this they got mad at me because they feel like I cherry pick questions that I might win. <laughs> Yeah, let's vote like, for yourself. Who has the prettiest them? hair? Who's the most likable? <laughs> <laughs> Not after this. Oh okay. All right, we're gonna start easy. Who was the best at sports as a kid? We all used to do like I don't know youth league sports. Um, who do you think was the best at sports as a kid? Grudgingly picking this. <laughs> all right, one, two, three. Thank. You. I was a college athlete. Only one, one, one college, college athlete. athlete. That's the only reason I put you instead of me. I know. Hey, I played oh, all stars. Who was the worst at sports? <laughs> I mean, I was not coordinated, but I rode. And you don't have to have coordination for rowing. Strong, strong legs. Very strong legs. Um. Okay. Who is the loudest? I feel like I'm about to get it. <laughs> Ooh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. I have been listening to Dad for the last week and a half compare Isla to Sarah just because of how loud her voice is. Oh, I don't feel like she's very loud at all. I feel like she'd be the quietest one. I feel like uh, when we were you. growing up, <laughs> so demure. Sarah's People don't. Voice, like you would hear it from next door. So like, growing, so you're thinking like when we were kids? Yeah. Okay. 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 Who's the best dancer? Can I, can I just not hold up? I know, I know. <laughs> just, who you Whoever wins has to. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this will be an interesting one. All right. Okay. Three, two, one. None of y'all can dance. None of y'all can dance. I know. Here's, here's, here's what it is. I this is a, the correct answer. <laughs> no, like, I have a willingness to dance. Oh, I think yeah. you have rhythm. I'll get down. It'll just be crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We all want to dance the so world. None of us took dance Actually, lessons as kids. One of the other activities that I was going to try to convince them to do tonight was to do um, that Ariana Christmas. That have y'all seen the? Uh, do y'all remember that? Some that what's her Christmas song called? Like Santa, tell me. Yeah, is it Santa? Oh, y'all haven't seen the little TikTok dance no. that he's been doing? Okay, never mind. Um, but there's a whole TikTok dance that I wanted us to learn. The but... high comedy, I'm sure. <laughs> oh wait, hang on, Molly. Uh, what says black? He well, he's black hair. Oh, oh she hasn't a picture. No. no. The pic oh. when we get on. We'd love to see it. Okay, our cousin Abby just had a baby Yay. like an hour ago. We're getting text. We're updates. anxiously waiting for. Molly called me. Hold on. Sorry. I, I Sorry. She doesn't have pictures. Like it literally like an hour and a half. I don't even know. Two hours. Oh, that was. I was gonna ask about. Yeah, that was. Yeah, Hi, hey, girl. Hey, Grandma. Hi. Hi. I've got. It, it's all of us. Oh my 
my gosh. <laughs> so cute. No, little baby! Baby, look at oh, I knew he was gonna have hair. Oh, oh, of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yeah. Black yeah. hair, of course. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I'm just picturing Tiny Todd with Abby's like coloring. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Back to our question. <laughs> yeah, we're back. <laughs> this is a very, very important one. Mm. Okay. Who is your first call if you need to hide a body? Three, two, one. Oh, wait, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. Oh! <laughs> I can't call myself. We're all calling Allison. Here's what I'll say. If you need someone to get mad on your behalf, no one's better at it than Allison. <laughs> yes. That's right. If you leave me a mean comment, believe me, she is screenshotting it and talking shit. It's true. <laughs> it's true. And I'm more about the logistics. Listen, so, so is like our mom, works. though. I want to be clear. So is our mom. And oh. I know how much you guys love Sissy. If you leave a shady or mean or any sort of potentially negative comment on this YouTube channel, she just know that Sissy don't you. like you. <laughs> yeah. Sissy, She's making a list. She's checking it twice. Sissy <laughs> is a mama bear. So y'all be she nice in the sweet, comments. But she'll get you. Mm -hmm. Everyone's very nice in the comments. That's <laughs> it's only... For very, the most part. It's very rare. <laughs> Um, okay, these, these get sillier. Okay, <laughs> who is most likely to end up like dad? Like, who is going to become dad in their old age? Easy. I mean, right now? Like, <laughs> easy. I, I don't feel a lot of conflict about this one. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see. Oh, yeah, I sure did. <laughs> I feel like I'm okay, ready. ready. I just feel like you and dad, you have your ways that you like things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, sure, that part. <laughs> what other parts are there? <laughs> well, I was thinking like making best friends at Starbucks. That's never going to be me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know that that's any of us. We don't have that like, no. we're social, but like our dad is like never met a stranger. On the, on the like, next level social. At, like the team at his local, like at the coffee shop they go to, like made him a t-shirt that matches the whole staff. Yeah. Because yes. he's like the mayor there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> Coffee when I came in to visit the first time with the girls this trip. See? Yeah. yeah. So you're an unpaid employee of this. Yeah. Uh, He's best friends with everyone. Yeah. Um, okay, who is most likely to end up like mom? Ready? Sure. Three. Okay. Oh, we'll okay. up two if you have two. Three, okay. two, one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. okay. That's funny. I know. You think you're turning into dad. I think you're turning into mom. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what I see more. Uh, I'm fine with that. I mean, I'll take it as a compliment. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Same. Same. Um, okay. Who is most likely to become a witch? Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting an awful question. All right. Wait, that, this implies that the person is not already. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whoever is clear. into that to be crystal clear. No judgment upon anyone who thinks they do anything. I happen to not. I just think they're well, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> My friend just came by and gave me a Christmas present today, and it was two really beautiful crystals. Literally, your text at, talking about crystals is what made me add this question to the list. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, My answer would be Sarah. Just set up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Answer. Who curses the most? One's a hard one. I know. It's all of us. But <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> we all look different. I love this. <laughs> I really feel like I almost put myself. Honestly. Yeah. We're, we're so all crazy. about, about there. there all the time for saying shit. Because she knows that shit is a bad word, but fortunately she does not yet know that fuck is a bad word. <laughs> I don't feel like we're like that out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> vulgar potty mouths though like no. we're just like just in the group chat yeah. yeah i mean there's a time and a place yeah. and that place is my car when i'm driving <laughs> one hundo yeah. <laughs> hundo yeah um okay who is the cheapest the thriftiest Ooh. that's really hard one is it 
me. Easy to eliminate I mean, a couple. It's not Liz. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you who it's not. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann. Chan's fan. Right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, wow. I'm with Allison. I oh, she hasn't oh. seen my house renovations yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, I almost said me as well. That was a pure Literally, person. Sam and I go out for fast food and we don't get a combo. We buy two hamburgers and then the fries to split. It's like, it's not worth the money. And that's not me, but it is my lifestyle. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Sam. Sam's rubbing off on you. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so the counter. Who is the bougiest? And don't even, it's not me. <laughs> Three, two, one. I have to be honest, it is. Yeah. Potentially. Thank you. It might be I me. thought so. <laughs> you have a nicer car. Well, only because mine's newer. I was due. Your car is. Were you? <laughs> you didn't replace your car with an equal value car. Though. I just mean that, like, her car, she got a few years after me, so she's not really due for a new car. But I bet her car will be bougie as hell when she buys it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay. I, mean, um, I like how you're keeping them secret. Money. Like we can cheat. Like <laughs> a lot of points. Based well, I'm also stuff. closing it because I noticed it was like blocking my Christmas sweater. Oh, sure, sure, that sure. In the frame. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, this is actually the last one I have on the list, unless you guys have any that you think would be funny. But um, oh, this one is who got in the most trouble as a kid? Ooh. I don't know. There's an argument that could be made in a lot of different directions. A lot of different actions. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. I remember I wasn't always being in trouble. <laughs> I feel like I got in trouble for things that didn't actually happen, though. <laughs> <laughs> none of us got, like, none of us were, like, yeah, like no, our kids, we were but lucky. I just... Our parents were very lucky. <laughs> so I got in trouble for sneaking out to a concert, except I didn't. I was asleep in my bed. <laughs> And they just missed me. <laughs> just couldn't find me. Oh my god. Okay, those are all my questions. Uh, um, anybody have any? Who's colors? the prettiest? <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most oh. likely to um, form a cult around themselves? Be like the leader of a cult. I think we know someone who already has. Oh. <laughs> I started my cult. It's called Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. Who's, who's gonna have the most buck wild midlife crisis of all of us? I've been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in there. Yeah, I'm I feel like it's already started. <laughs> I turned 40 and I was like, what's Gen Z doing? Should I part my hair down the middle? Should I wear loose jeans? When she gets a TikTok, y'all know it's over. <laughs> no, I have it. I just never posted it. Oh. <laughs> When she I gets bangs, y'all should check on her. Some curtain bangs, she look okay. cute. She would look cute with curtain bangs. <laughs> no. I've been getting a lot of F1 stuff mm -hmm. on Instagram lately, mm -hmm. and then it's a lot of times like a crossover with another genre. So I saw a Valtteri Botas get ready with me. What? <laughs> it was amazing. It was him sitting on a table in his normal know. clothes. These two are really into F1, get ready and with we two race. could not care less. Race. He comes back in his uniform and goes, thanks for watching. Oh my god. They're European. They're into F1. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the most European? That's <laughs> Mel. Mel. Probably. Yeah, Does she live in Europe? No. <laughs> Jason. Might she as lives well. closer than we do. Yeah, yeah that's true. Kind of, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. Well, that concludes our 2023 holiday Christmas quiz. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for doing this with me. Yes. Of course. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. 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 You lean over onto your right side okay. and then swing your legs up and over. And so if you okay. lean, you go on so your back and your legs have to go into the center. Well, so first you go basically onto your right shoulder uh -huh. yeah. and then you kick your legs up and you roll like across your back. Right shoulder back, left shoulder up. Okay. What? Okay. Yeah. Where do my legs go? Up. Okay. But you guys don't <laughs> go to the right? How does that We work? all go to the right. Everyone goes to the right. We're going okay. clockwise? Okay. Yes. All right. I'm going towards you. You're going yes. towards Liz. This doesn't seem right. Okay. Three. Two, one, go. Turn. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! Three, two, oh, again? Go. 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 one, Oh god. Two. <laughs> oh, oh, what are you doing? Your legs go into the center, not your back. <laughs> You're just spinning them.
here. Okay. And I hook my What <laughs> on earth? <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> That's too slippery. <laughs> okay, that one might have been a fail. Okay, try one more time. Oh one more time, one more time, one more All time. Alright. Name his last words, one more time. Okay. Hold my beer. <laughs> Hold my truly. <laughs> Okay, but I, rose think, I think it needs to be a little bit closer together. Like, so like balance. together? Not together, but like this. Like, okay. 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 <laughs> Mel, this looks so dangerous. I'm scared. I can't. No, I'm scared. <laughs> Do you remember? I think it's just the Lincoln Sampler. I'm not sure. Okay, by Twin Peak Primitives. Yes. Oh my gosh, look at, what's his wife's name? Uh, Mary Todd. Mary Todd Lincoln. Oh. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen She's Lincoln. She's not a Lincoln st stan like me. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm saving actual Lincoln for last as Top Hat goes here. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so good. You're like over halfway. For sure, yeah. I'm really excited. I'm going to get there. Yes. Okay. It already feels like it's not going to work. <laughs> legs up in the air from <laughs> you got this push <laughs> oh, Jesus. let me first oh, I'm gonna just warm up um okay. by just doing a you're okay where are you going okay <laughs> like before I even attempt a chair <laughs> okay. a chair I love that you're filming this <laughs> is your thumbnail <laughs> she's an athlete <laughs> Christmas lights too, just because I don't think I've ever videoed any of that. Now this video can see the light of day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for doing TikTok dances with me in my living room. Yeah. 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 All right. Bye. Hi guys, happy Thursday. Um, I am done working for the year. Yay, two whole weeks off of work. Um, I'm very, very excited. I have not had two weeks off since my wedding, actually in my honeymoon. Um, but as I talked about earlier, I had COVID on my honeymoon, so that wasn't fun. Uh, I mean, obviously the first week getting married, that was the most fun. Um, anyways. Why am I talking about this? Because I'm excited to have two weeks off of work and it starts right now. <laughs> um, I really haven't filmed anything today other than opening up my advent. Uh, I had to finish up work. I had a bunch of stuff to do. And uh, yeah, I'm here now to wrap up the video and show you what I crafted on yesterday and today. Not much yesterday, as you probably would have seen. Uh, my sisters came over last night and we had ourselves a little sister's Christmas party and it was way too much fun. We just kept trying all these TikTok challenges and dances and we are not athletic. We are not graceful. 
that is not our strong suits. Um, so hilarious results. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that and our little, um, I don't know, game we played, uh, reminiscent of the first one I made them play with me. And yeah, we just had a great time last night. So I didn't craft that much yesterday, but I did a little bit and I did a little bit more today and I have a few things to show you. Um, they're kind of going to be cliffhangers, I feel like, for next week's video. <laughs> the first is that I finished, finally, one of my Christmas socks that I've been working on since the start of the month. It is Sugar Cookies yarn, uh, or the color is called Sugar Cookies by Kinetic Knitter. And I did just a two by two vanilla ribbed sock with a heel flap gusset. And I have everything done. I just haven't done my kitchener stitch. So um, it's, you know, 99.9% uh, .9 completed sock. I just need a kitchener stitch this toe. And then I think I will go ahead and cast on for the second one and see if I can squeeze out a second sock um, in the next four days before Christmas. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but that's on my list. And then... I haven't worked anymore on my string of light socks. Those are the like Christmas threw up socks. <laughs> They're right in front of me, so I'll show you. Um, I also wanna finish this, but I'm like, it's dumb to finish one of each set of the Christmas socks, right? It doesn't matter. I'll wear them whenever, it doesn't matter. Um, but I do wanna get back to this and finish these socks as well. So these will probably stay next to my couch in rotation. And then the other thing I did was I worked on another gift knit for my sister for Christmas and it's almost done, but not quite. And it is the mini crop puff sweater ornament. Um, I can't remember the designer's name, but I'll put it on the screen. And I um, almost have one done. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous how cute this is. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Um, I had just a little mini skein of Madeline Tosh Light from like 15 years ago. And uh, I think it calls for eight grams of yarn. That's how much you need. And like size one needles. I didn't have size one handy. I had a one and a half. So I used one and a half needles with Tosh Merino Light. And I knit it exactly as the pattern calls for. Um, and then I just need to pick up and knit my second little sleeve. I did this one earlier. Uh, it only took like 10 minutes to knit the sleeve. <laughs> so I need to knit the second one and then I'll be done. Weave in my ends, which I think will be tricky on this tiny little piece. Um, and then what I really want to do is I have some picture hanging wire and I want to make a tiny coat hanger to put this on, to hang it on the tree, because I just think that will be adorable. Um, that'll be a, you'll have to wait for next week's Vlogmas to see what happens with that. Also in next week's Vlogmas, I absolutely have to get this fully finished because this is also for my sister for Christmas. And yeah, I think those are the only two like must haves that I have to get done. So you'll see those for sure in the next video. Um, everything else, I'm not sure. We had some Christmassy plans tomorrow night and Sunday night, Christmas Eve. But unfortunately, my sister Lynn, who was here last night, just has a positive for COVID. And I know it's not me giving it to her. I had it two weeks ago, a week ago, whatever it was, and I'm testing negative and I'm totally fine. So I don't know where she got it. She did go to Colorado. Um, she probably got it on the plane, same as I did. And anyway, so she has COVID. So, she, you know, her husband and kids might now be getting sick. We're not sure. So we've kind of like, I'm not really sure what our Christmas plans are going to be the rest of this week, but we'll figure it out. And yeah, I'm sure I'll have some crafty stuff to share with you in next week's final week of Vlogmas. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out and checking this video out. I have a feeling it's going to be a super long one. Can't wait to find out when I edit it. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. Well, yeah. Just a yeah. big flat sock with nothing inside. <laughs> <laughs>